Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to all my new subbies and people just rolling through. We've been looking at my shorts and found my channel. Welcome in. I appreciate you being here. We got a jam-packed show today, y'all. So you know me. I don't like to waste no time. We're going to jump right into it. So this week, we got the five steps to move into Merida. I didn't say it was easy, but it's doable and it's worth it. So we're going to get into that. But I want to share an experience with you guys that I had that definitely correlates directly to me moving here to Merida. So it's tax time, right? And shout out to Remedy Tax and Financial Services in North Carolina. If you're in need of a great, not good, great tax and financial service, Reach out to Remedy Tax and Financial Services on Facebook. You will also find that I do their videos there, so you'll be able to hear my voice in more than one place. Check them out on Facebook. They are in Charlotte. So, I had an experience today, y'all. I was going through my tax papers and getting those prepped, and I came across all of the receipts from my giveaways, all the stuff that I gave away. So... I got some, I'm telling you, this whole episode is just full of tips and tricks and quicks and just information to get you what you need. Okay, so this is good. Get a pen and paper. And also it will be in the description. So I was going through my tax papers. I had a moment because I didn't realize how much stuff I had given away. Y'all, I was going through there like lightning. I was laser beam focused. I was not worried about nothing. It had to go. So these are some of the avenues I use and places that I use to get rid of my stuff. So you know, in my course, I got things, things, and more things. Hey, I understand the plight. I talked to a young lady, got a house, got a house full of stuff. Some of y'all got the same thing. You ready to go? But what am I going to do with all this stuff? Don't worry, I got you. This is what Tia and Nikki did. So, number one, give away to shelters because they provide a tax write-off. And what I like about donating to shelters is they give it away to people. They don't sell it, right? So we all know Goodwill and Salvation Army, and that indeed is on the list as well. But I like the shelters, men and women shelters. Now, the underlying current of this experience is I told y'all about me and Mama J being homeless, and I was able to get back to the shelter they gave to us that provided a roof for my mother. It was just a phenomenal feeling. And so I gave them the best of the best and the good of the goods. Y'all, I gave them so much stuff, they had to close down three days. I would like to think it was me, <laughs> but I'm sure it was me and a bunch of people. Gave away so much in that short time period, they had to shut down for three days to organize just to get all of these things out. And again, what I like about it is the women's shelter, the men's shelters, they have giveaways. These people are not buying anything at all. So that's your number one. Number two, I gave away stuff to the friends of the library. So, stuff like CDs, DVDs, old component sets, oh my goodness, books, all anything archival. That is a great place. They want all the retro stuff. It's a library. So they keep an archive of, um, you know, of all the things that we think are outdated, but loop around or worth, you know, a bunch of money. We'd be on the Antique Road Show with some of the stuff that we could keep it. So if you're looking to get rid of it, that's another place that you can go and get rid of things easily. They'll give you a sheet, a receipt for your taxes. Number three, the pawn shop, which is not the best place, but it is a place and option. So right not many months before I left, I bought a 50 inch Sony Bravia TV, the best of the best, right around 850 on sale. It was huge. I put it in the paper. I put it on Craigslist. Not the paper. I put it on Craigslist. I put it in Facebook Marketplace. I put it on sale. All the apps. Nobody would bite it, right? It. I ran out of time. So I said, it's got to go to the pawn shop. Y'all, $800 out, $125 in. That's how much they gave to me. And I had to bargain and, never, and um, you know, negotiate my way up to $125. And then I had to give 25 to the people that took me. Shout out. I appreciate you. Whew. Number four, Goodwill or Salvation Army. 
whatever you choose, the good thing is if you call early enough, they do provide pickups. So if you have furniture that you want to donate or something like that, if you schedule it in time enough, they will come and pick it up. So, and again, you get a tax write-off. There was a Goodwill right around the corner from where I lived. I made five trips over there. I didn't realize that. Um, and then number five, thumbtack. Look for people who pick up furniture, who dispose of old goods. Um, I had furniture that was 13 years old that I was trying to get rid of. I had to pay them, but they came and picked it up and they disposed of it. So for me, it was worth it. Um, and then a bonus for you guys, which I did too, just in case you're not aware, neighbors, ask your neighbors, do they want anything? I got, we got rid of a lot of things through our neighbors, a neighbor sale versus a yard sale for people who are in apartment buildings. Um, and then an extra bonus, um, is look, if y'all need to leave and you want to just rent the house, leave the stuff in the house and rent it furnished. And that's a little extra money. You know what I mean? Rent it furnished, leave the pictures on the wall, baby, and take your personal belongings and roll out. Yes. So, at the end of my experience um, today, I had a moment. I had a little, y'all know I cry. I had a little weepy moment, but it was healthy tears because what? Tears are so cleansed, right? Let it out. Don't suppress it. My mama told me when I was a very young age, do not suppress because that turns into dis-ease, right? So we don't suppress because it'll fester and turn into a dis-ease. So I expelled a few tears, but they were tears of joy. I felt so light, y'all, because I'm looking through my old... um insurance car insurance bill you know I'm like wow I don't have that load anymore I don't have to pay for the gas I don't have to deal with traffic it was a release and how much I was carrying I wasn't aware and I don't think you all are aware of I told you I had to learn how to not be stressed out so I think you're carrying loads that you're not even aware of you will be once you get to the other side right of the tunnel and a lot of the um, of people like me, women, we carry a lot with the children, so forth, grandchildren and so on, single parents, single, whether it be male or female, working all of that, plus the things that are going on in the world, which we're going to get into. So in expelling that, I also realized, you know, how many trips I made and my resilience, my perseverance and my determination. So I say that to say, don't underestimate yourself, y'all. Do not underestimate yourself and your capabilities. So all in all, it was a total of five trips to the shelter, SUV loads, <laughs> two trips to the Friends of the Library, and three trips to Goodwill, and one trip to drop off my car. Because remember I told y'all, I sold my car. So I got to see that bill too. And that's what made me think about the gas and the car insurance and all of that money that I'm saving and the headaches, um, you know, that just come with, that we shouldn't have registering your car every year. If I already registered once, well, I got to keep registering it. These just observations. So I thought that information would be helpful for you guys. I've talked to quite a few of you and I appreciate the consultations. I appreciate, appreciate y'all taking the course. And you've asked me, you know, how I get rid of my stuff. So there you go. A list of five plus two bonuses on how to um, clear the clutter. So without further ado, let's get into moving to Merida in five steps. It ain't easy, but it's worth it. So number one is your mindset. Is your mindset Ha <laughs> that's the question. Is your mindset, your mindset, being focused, doing your research, digging deep to understand number two, why? Evaluation of why you want to move, your environment that you're in, and all of the lists. Now I learned something. 
when you're weighing those pros and cons, it could be 10 pros and one con because it's about the weight. It's not about the amount, right? So number one, your mindset, your tool belt that I talk about, right? And your evaluation of why is number two. Number three, your options that fit your lifestyle. See, I've talked to a lot of people, y'all, and they say Merida is beautiful, is lovely, the people are nice, the food is great, we love the seeds, but baby, it's too hot. It's flaming tortilla chips, it's taki hot, it's fish grease hot in Merida, and I can concur, yes it is. It's just not too hot for me not to live here. However, it may be a little bit too hot for you. So, number three, weighing your options according to your lifestyle. And I got another list after this, y'all, with places that are paying you to live there. So if it's too hot, I got somewhere cold for you. All right, now, number four, Letting go of your old life, baby. I just told you the story about me going through my tax stuff and seeing all these things that I had to let go of. But I had I not, it would have blocked me from achieving my goals and my goals were too big. Some of you have outgrown your space. You are too big for your environment. You've outgrown your space, so you have no choice but to elevate and rise in, out, and around, and expand. So in order to do that, you have to open up your fist. But the good thing is when you open it up and let it go, something can be put in it too. Yeah, my grandma taught me that. Baby, open your hands and let the things go and let more wonderful things come in. So letting go of that old life because you can't have both, period. Okay, number five, the last one is your commitment to the changes that you need to live a better life. So, your commitment to the mindset and the tool belt, your commitment to evaluating why you need to move, what's making you do that, what are your whys? Your commitment to the options that fit your lifestyle, your commitment to letting go of anything that is blocking your path. Even if you need to take it with you, that's letting go of, you know, trying to find out what to do with it. Maybe you need to pack it up. Like we're gonna interview Auntie Jackie, she back. So we got to ask her, how'd you pack it up? And take it with you. And number five, your commitment to you. Because you choose your route, you choose your destination, and your conviction to your plight is what's going to propel you to the next level of your goals. Some say seeing is believing. T and Nikki say believing is seeing. If you believe it, you can see it, you can manifest it. So know that. Okay, now quickly, I got some emails about the Spanish class that I'm in. Um, you all saw that I posted a short about the Spanish class. I'm very excited. Um, it's coming along. I've only had two sessions. Now that that Spanish class is full. Okay. So I'm going to leave some information in the description for a couple of Spanish teachers um, that may have classes and that also teach one-on-one. -on -one. So you guys, there are a lot of videos as well on YouTube that teach it's like in the teacher format with a board and everything um, to teach you how to speak Spanish. So I'm going to put more effort into it because I want to have some conversations with these locals. I'm riding in these Ubers and DDs and I want to talk because they're trying to talk to me. And I want to, you know, get the lay of the land and, you know, be able to have some local friends as well. And speaking of local friends, I got a comment that was very exciting that I want to address. A uh, young lady asked me if I could interview the locals and get their take on, uh, you know, the black, we won't say an invasion, but uh, I tell you, I see so many of us, um, just the, the, you know, us moving here, you know, the black experience through their eyes. Now, 
I addressed her in two ways and I also want to address this here. First of all, I need to learn the language to be able to communicate and interview a local. I know some locals, um, one that speaks uh, my translator, of course, but I want to get into the roots here. So give me some time to learn the language and I'm open to doing that. Secondly, which is huge, America is the only place, or the United States is predominantly the only place where there's black and white. Here, I'm not black, I'm American or I'm a foreigner, or I'm an expat, but I'm not black. I'm never, I'm a, what did the man call me? A reina, a queen, bonita. I get called that often, that means pretty. So I'm not black here. And this is what my next podcast is gonna be about. And I'm gonna tell y'all, it's gonna be controversial because I'm gonna go there. And we are gonna talk about the black experience in, in Merida and what that looks like. How is that framed? The ethered or melanated experience here in beautiful Merida, Mexico. So I'm going to get into that on the next one. We're going to dig deep. Now, let's talk about all this stuff. These events, current events going on in the U.S. I don't know if y'all are aware. I know some of my older viewers of my age group older I got y'all young I love every age group I'm so glad y'all are here I'm trying to cover everything that I possibly can understand that families are moving here I'm giving a big shout out to my people in California I have gotten probably about three or four in a um I'm sorry uh clients uh, that I've had consultations with from Cali up in the Sacramento area so shout out to Cali, DMV, my people in the Midwest, Dirty Dirty, and Uptown. I see y'all. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all being here. So look, let's talk about what's going on right quick because I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. And I, And if you're looking for real news, most of you all know that you find your real news on social media. You're going to find it on Twitter. You're going to find it on Insta. You're going to find it on the Tickety Talk. And I'm a Tickety Talk person. Um, Late night scrolls. Not strolls. Late night scrolls. So I just want to go through a list. And and when we go back to our five steps to leaving, on your why, on your number two, on your why to leave, um... Let's let's get into that a little bit. Okay, so we got the UFOs in Alaska that got shot down. We got the um, Ohio train derailment with the chemical vinyl chloride that has, um, this is a tragedy, y'all, in Ohio, that has seeped into the water supply. They got a lady on... Um, on TikTok, all of this off TikTok. And I've verified, I've looked it up. Especially the information about where they pay you to live, what's coming after this. They got the lady, the birds were alive and found, fine. They had the chemical spill. They decided to blow it up. The whole town is covered in black. She gets up the next morning, all the roosters is dead. The animals, the dogs, all the, and the water supply they have shown the water, how it goes through the Midwest. So the towns under Ohio, all the way through that water supply system are being affected. They're having people test their water, not drink the water. Um, I will definitely say that the news media is not forthcoming with uh, clear and concise information. They kind of mimic, so dig deep. I want y'all to look this, these things up if you don't know about it. Okay, and I will put as much information as I can in the description, and I will try to also post some shorts on what I'm talking about. So we got the UFOs, the chemical train derailment tragedy, earthquakes. Um, Did y'all know that over the last 10 years, that 407,000 foster children have gone missing? Did you know about it? I didn't. In the last year, over 100,000 foster kids have been lost, missing in the system. Okay, also a lady, she went ahead and jumped off the cliff at Niagara Falls with her child today. 
Um, there was an attempted power grid takeover in Baltimore uh, just last week. We got blue and purple beans in North Carolina. The Carolinas all the way down to Florida, um, which can actually see penetrate your body and see like fluids in your body, like shots in your body or something like that. Like, you know, the CV-19s. Um, then, I didn't know, but uh, apparently nine whales, um, unalived whales, washed, washed ashore. And I want to say Miami of Florida. Also, there was another derail, uh, railroad car derailment in South Carolina. Oh, and it was another one in Houston, another trail train derailment. And oh, both of those two were carrying hazardous material. I would like for you all to definitely go to TikTok or on or research this. Courtney Mallory on TikTok is suffering from some hate crimes to his form and cattle. Um, so he's struggling there. Also, um, Hawaii had a seven gallon fuel spill this past weekend. Johnson and Johnson has a full lawsuit um, against everything. All they got, the powder, everything. Um, then also speaking of UFOs um, from the first uh, initial conversation, um, also, they have spotted them in USA, Canada, China, and here in Mexico, and four in Montana. Uh, this They're saying that they are shooting down, um, or they're trying to get rid of these UFOs, and they're just dissipating. There's no, there's no, like, anything debris or anything left over. The age of Aquarius is quite interesting. Um, also, the 10-year-old uh, guy, little boy is going to court today, the one that shot his mother in the face um, for not giving him a video game, went to court today for sentencing, and they're trying to see if they're going to give him life at 10. Also, make sure you look up the police gangs in Compton called the Executioners. Check that out. And I saved, oh, wait, I got another one. Roomba. Yeah, the little vacuum that does your, cleans your floor. Right now, they have a lawsuit because uh, they've leaked pictures of people in compromising positions, like in the restroom, and personal pictures that are loaded up to some cloud somewhere. So, check that out. And... To finish it off, the eggs. We found out the mystery to the eggs. Why they cost $8,000 for um, a dozen. Apparently, and I was not aware of this, did you all know that Purina made the chicken feed? I, your face, that face right there, that one, uh-huh, yep, that face right there, I, yeah, yeah, this, yep, the same one that makes the chow chow, the dog, Farina, mm-hmm, they make chicken feed, and apparently, um, and I will try to post this video, you know, you have to be careful with what you can say and can't, um, I will try to post it, but apparently, uh, the the feed uh, made the chicken sterile. Um, so, who can say if it was an accident or not? However, it happened, and the young lady has a chicken coop. She raises chickens. Her chicken got out of the coop, stopped eating the feed, and started laying eggs. Now, none of the chickens would touch the feed. So if you go on chicken TikTok, you're going to find out about the Purina chicken feed. Um, and then now, of course, they're forecasting prices to drop. So take with all of that, you will. But I had to report it because it speaks volumes. Okay. 
to weighing your options, right? That was on our list. Y'all know I'm keeping notes. Yes, indeed I am. Number three, weighing your options. So now, as if all that wasn't enough, we're going to close on a happy note because we know we got to work on our mindset. We know we got to evaluate why we want to go. And you can refer to the aforementioned list if you need some help. Also, the options that fit you where you need to be, where you feel good. Travel to some places and see what you like. I recently talked to a young lady that took my course. Thank you so much. And we had a talk and we've been kind of, you know, conversing. And she's like, hey, I came there. I loved it. Thank you. I'm still weighing my options. How about that? And I love it. That's what we're doing. And then what else are we doing? We're doing number four. We are letting go of the old life so that we can get a new one. Yes, we are. And number five, commitment to yourself for a better life, for a bigger life. Why? If you didn't see my last video, because you worth it. Self-worth. We talked about it because you are worth it. Bonus. Not seeing is believing, but believing is seeing because we manifest in that thing. We are generating it inside of us. The energy is going out and what you put out will come back. We call that what y'all? Karma, right? All right, kiddos and kiddettes, we're moving into the top three, I think I have for you, places to move, places to move where they will pay you to live there, okay? So for the people that's too hot, hot Albinen, Switzerland, I may be pronouncing that wrong, but it's A-L-B-I-N-E-N, Albinen, you should see it on the screen. Switzerland. So they are paying a family of four $60,000 up to $60,000 to move there. Why? Because they have a declining population. So they are looking to increase their population and they are paying people. Let me tell you, baby, I researched this. I went and I dug and it's real. Okay. So you can go to Swiss info.cn and it's there and the link is in I'm sorry y'all that's wrong it's swissinfo.ch it's on your screen and you can go there and look up all the requirements the regulations and what you need to do to take advantage of that because I'm going to tell you what you won't be and that's hot next on the list we got Prasicci Italy trying to go to Italy what's up up to $30,000 to move to Presicci, Italy. Hmm? 30K to move. Why? Because they have an aging population. So they are looking for people. And baby, this was on CNN. Yes, it was. And the link to that is in the description. And the last place is an island. It's a Greek island. And it is called Antique. Oh, wait a minute. Anticathera. Mm -hmm. It's on the screen. Anticathera. And it is in Greece. And they are paying... Um, wait, matter of fact, it's only 50 people that live there. That's right. I researched this. This was on Business Insider website. And it's only 50 people that live on this island. And they are offering... Are y'all ready? They offering a house... A piece of land and six hundred dollars a month for three years. They are offering a house, a piece of land, and six hundred dollars a month for three years. This is on Business Insider's website. So these have been verified. Um, I've also seen this information in other places, which made me look it up myself because I was like, "Wow." So, what ain't for you could be for somebody else. So, this is why 
somebody put on my shore, why are you moving to Africa? No, but somebody else might want to. Ghana has a program out right now. Come back home. The Come Back Home program. So that's what I'm saying. Merida might not be it. It may be a place to visit and not live. There's a lot of places like that. Disneyland is like that. You want to visit, but you don't want to live there. So there indeed is a place for you. So work on your tool belt. Get the things in order that you need and don't feel rushed. I've talked to some of you all. You're in a hurry. You got one more year till you're retiring. You're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. (laughs) And I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, I get it. (laughs) Believe me, because I didn't wait on nothing. I was gone. I get it. But just know, and just know that um, there is no rush. Meredith's not getting going anywhere. However, I do feel intuitively and I felt this, and this is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I love that there is a need to move, to leave, to go. I felt an urgency to move out of the way. Did you just hear that list of things that I, that went on in the last two weeks? And it's progressive, it's progressive. And, and the longer I'm away, uh, the more things I can see. Um, I saw some of it when I was there, but I'm seeing things in a different perspective. And that's why the next video will be Black Excellence in Merida. Because excel is the word that I'm focusing on. Your ability to do so, and not only do so, but be so. Y'all know I talk about it from doing and going to being. So, your five steps, mindset, why, options, letting go, commitment, and taking the course. And that's going to help you through those subcategories like your fears and what do you really want and identifying your strengths and helping you manage your mind because it's a lot going on. They keep you inundated. They keep you distracted away from you. And without you, none of this happens. You are the star of the show. You are the sun of your life. So work on those things. Your emotional empathy. What to do about family. Um... A lot of y'all are keeping your plans under wraps. Nobody knows. Like, I realized I had to be careful when I was getting shout outs because people like, whoa, people don't know. So I reeled that back in and I apologize for that because um, y'all know I brought my mama with me. So I didn't have no pushback. However, I realized that a lot of you all are also finagling through those waters of contempt with family, with the gaslighting, with the hating, with no support. And at the end of the day, in the beginning of the night, a lot of us are doing this alone. There's nobody else. And the people who we thought were there with us are falling away as we make this transition, right? I implore you to allow it to happen so that it can be replaced with people who do support you, who do understand you, who are on your page. And even if they don't agree, they're not taking anything from you. They're not deducting from what you're trying to do. Silence is golden. I was taught if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. Shh, don't say nothing. Support If you can, and if not, hands off. So working through getting honest with yourself about if you really can do it. These are the things in my course about getting honest with yourself, about how to make the commitment, how to finalize your decision, how to deal with your emotions through the transition. See, the course is not reading, y'all. It's interactive. It requires you. To invest in yourself. This course ain't about my experiences at all, all of it. No, it's about you too. 
and where you want to do and where you want to go and have the map, the Underground Railroad, baby, on how to get there. So I implore you, take the course, call me, talk to me. Um, a lot of the consultations are not about, about Merida. Um, some people haven't decided where they want to go. They just know they're going or they're going somewhere else. But they want to talk about family. They want to talk about the fear. They want to talk about that. So I often tell you this journey that you are embarking on because you're listening to this right now, which means the seed is already planted, baby. How much you going to water it? That's all that matters so that it can grow. But I often say, and I will always say, and it's on my website at tnicky.com. This journey starts in your head, but it ends in your heart. And in order for that to happen, you got to open up and allow life and trust, trust, not only your higher self, God, whoever your person is, your energy is, trust yourself because the same energy that you praise, the same energy that you edify is in you. It is you. Am I my brother, sister's keeper? No, I am my brother and sister. So, I think I gave y'all a lot today. We went over our five things. We went over how to get rid of stuff. We went over current events, honey, to give you some whys. And believe me, there will be new ones tomorrow. There will always be a reason why. All these things that we talked about were outside of ourselves. But they, however, impact our life. They impact, they bring trauma. Um, we talked about that bond and bathing and, and, you know, like it can get deep and depression comes and all of these diseases, emotional. Because see, I'm going to tell you something. America is very good, the U.S. is very good at telling you what to do, where to do it, how to do it. It's mental. But they never teach you how to handle emotions. It's people getting upset because somebody stepped on the tennis shoe instead of just wiping it off. Simple things like that. We have never been taught that. And that's what I like about here. A lot of the schools teach meditation, affirmation, and how to breathe through your emotion because emotions are fleeting. They change. I'm mad now. I won't be mad later. Right? So... Dig into these things. Take your courses. Even if it's not mine, take something um, to just a spiritual course on how to, you know, better yourself or help you manage your thoughts and slow down. Right? I'm taking courses. I'm a forever learner, honey. That's why I can bring you information. Because as I grow, as I expand, I can give you all the fruit from my tree. And that's what we're supposed to do, I think, right? Each one teach one. Help a brother out, right? So do that. Commit to the, to the change that you need. Commit to yourself and just do the things and pace yourself. There's no rush. Take the information from my page, from, from my YouTube, from all the YouTubes. Look around, research. I talked to a couple of people that, didn't, that do not know that Merida is the second safest city in North America next to Quebec. These are things you should know. So research the history on Merida. Um, I did and learned that it was named after Merida, Spain. There was even a battle of Merida. How about that? It's in Wikipedia. And if you don't like Wikipedia, just Google it. The Battle of Merida. Yes. So... I think that's all I got for y'all today. I'll be coming back with Black Excellence in Merida. I think I might make that a heart to heart because we get down with that, right? Um, when we dig deep and we talk about the fact that you're not black, you're not a color, right? You're a human being. You are a soul. You're a spirit having a, a human experience. So even if you are black, you're more than that. So we'll get into that. Email me if you have any questions. Go take the course. Get a consultation. If you have any questions, email me at tianikkiinmerida at gmail.com. 
Go on my website, add yourself to my email list where I will send out blogs weekly or bi-weekly on information that we don't talk about on YouTube and information that we talk about on YouTube. And we kind of expand on that. If you have any comments, please send them to me. If you want me to see them, I try to answer every comment in the um, in the YouTube description and always look at the description because I put links to every mostly everything I talk about. I will continue with the weekly events in Merida. Um, people seem to like it. I just want it out there so you know and you can, you know, arrange your trip around it. I've gotten emails. A lot of y'all are coming, child. You're not playing. It's serious. It is serious Robux. So only my older folks will get that that joke. Um, so that's it for today. Be well, take care of yourself, invest in yourself, take it easy. I know it's a lot going on over there. I see it, and that's why I wanted to address it. So, until next time, peace.